One of the benefits of EVs like the Tesla Model S here is that there are fewer removing bits, which means less maintenance and the need for fewer service centers than ICEs. But they're not totally maintenance free yet. So when you need your tires rotated or your filters changed, who are you gonna call? Your Tesla Mobile Service. Well, actually, you wouldn't call them, you'd use the app, but never mind, let's go for a ride along. Now today's ride is a pre-facelifted Tesla Model S, which gains a second life as a service vehicle where it helps its younger brothers and sisters stay on the road. Now Tesla says it chose the Model S because it's got so much space in the back and the front trunk, and that leaves plenty of room for tools. Pardon any rattling around you might hear, that's just all the stuff we've got crammed back there. Of course, it being an electric car also looks good for the brand. Now, Tesla's also planning on outfitting a couple of larger Model Xs in the future for even bigger jobs. For now, for big, big jobs, the brand also uses a couple of Ford Transits, but they don't really like to talk about that. Now our first stop of the day is a tire rotation. Pretty routine maintenance stuff, so let's take this opportunity to show you the rig they've got set up in the mobile service vehicle for managing all their parts and tools on location. Now the back seats of the Model S have been removed and replaced with this organization and cage system. This allows the techs to have every tool that they're gonna need and every part that they might need on the road. Now before they leave, the technicians are going to know every job they're going to do. So they load up all the parts that they might need. Things like this uh, airbag assembly that they're going to need to put into a car later on today. And they have it all ready here. And the cage up front means that if there is an accident, heaven forbid, things aren't going to go flying forward and injure the driver. It's a pretty cool setup, something that I'd like to have when I work on my car. While we're on our way to the second stop, let's talk about how customers interact with Tesla service. There are two ways to go about it. Either you can pop open your Tesla app and tell them what sort of service you want and they'll send a technician out to you or you can bring your car in if you want. Or if there's a very serious issue that the car has detected itself, this is a connected vehicle with a lot of sensors on board, the vehicle can reach out to Tesla automatically and let the automaker know what sort of problems it's having. And then Tesla will reach out to you for bringing your car in for service. So we're almost at that second stop, so let's hop out and see what sort of fix we've got lined up. Now Tesla Mobile Service goes wherever your car happens to be, which is why our first stop was residential, but our second stop of the day is at a place of business. Even for an involved fix, like taking the whole dashboard apart for an airbag recall replacement. In fact, Tesla tells us that 30% of the Takata airbag recalls are handled by its mobile service division. So that's the second car good as new, let's pack it on up and head on to our third and final stop of the day. Not every stop is a fix or maintenance. Sometimes they're making aesthetic changes to a customer's car, like adding this carbon fiber spoiler to this Model 3 performance. It really sets off the look of the car. So that's our third vehicle sorted. Let's head on back to base. And of course, everything went pretty smoothly today, but we want to hear your repair stories and maintenance tales, especially about EVs. Let us know in the comments below, but before you do, hit the subscribe button for even more cool roadshow videos like this one here.